Hey guys, it's Nels. We're back with another episode of Sled Tech. As you can probably tell, we made it out of the shop and got out on the hill and found some snow. Uh, today, we're going to focus all about Ride Command. Now, Ride Command is more than just an app on your phone or the display. It's really a digital ecosystem that makes riding your snowmobile way easier and way more fun. And today, we're going to dive into all the little details on how it works and how you can use it out on the hill. So when a lot of people think Ride Command on a Polaris, the first thought is the display. And the reality is it's a whole lot more than that. Uh, Ride Command was something that Polaris started way back in 2014. And the purpose was we, we wanted better mapping and GPS and some of those features on our, our products, off-road vehicles, snowmobiles, and more. Uh, but any of the off-the-shelf solutions weren't going to work for power sports. Power sports is really different. We're not out on the highway. We're out in the backcountry, right? We have a different need. And so Ride Command is a purpose-built digital ecosystem that's really designed around power sports. It's built by Polaris, run by Polaris, uh, and something that we've been working on for quite a long time. The core pieces of, of Ride Command are the app on the phone. So it's a free app on your phone that you can uh, download and have on your phone. And then the display is on the vehicles. The display on the snowmobiles, the 7S display like we've got here. At its core, Ride Command is, is really focused on a few key things, and they're all about making the experience out on the snow more fun and easier. The, the first is maps, GPS, right? Knowing where you are. Um, all of the Ride Command, uh, the, the app on the phone, the software, and then the software that's in the display has full maps for uh, all of North America uh, and more. It's got over a million miles of trails, and all of those trail information are uploaded by trail clubs normal people that work at the trail clubs we work with them we've got trail club teams all over the country and canada that work with these local trail clubs get their latest trails in so it's not some outdated map that we've just copied into the software it's actual trails that are being updated in real time uh, by these people who are working at these awesome snowmobile clubs on the ground the other couple key pieces the, the next one is group ride and this is this is my favorite part and this is something that's just uh, absolutely awesome to have it's a proprietary design by Polaris, near field communication between vehicles. What it does is it shows you where your friends are on the trail, on the hill, whatever it is, on your display. It's super easy to do. We'll get into a little bit later of, of, of how exactly to get into the display and, and pair that up. Uh, but it links snowmobiles with the 7S display to each other. You can see where each other are and message back and forth. The, the last key piece is vehicle information. So uh, on the display side, it's got all kinds of vehicle data. It shows you warning codes. If there's something wrong with your snowmobile, a brief explanation, allows you to track different things on your sled, way more information than you'd get from a standard display. On the app, you can actually put your snowmobile in the app on your phone. Here I've got my Chaos, this sled right here, loaded on my phone. It'll track all the rides, tracks all the maintenance intervals, sends me reminders when it's time to do something, lets me know any other information I might want on my snowmobile, and it's all right there on my phone, linked to the snowmobile itself through Ride Command. Now, the coolest part is all of this works without your cell phone. We're, there's no cell service up here, right? A lot of places we ride snowmobiles, there's no cell service. If you have to bring your phone and have cell service in order to do mapping and group ride, the display is not really worth a whole lot. On the 7S display with Ride Command from Polaris, it's fully offline GPS, points of interest, and group ride. So you can shut your phone off and the display will do GPS tracking. It'll follow you on your ride, show you waypoints you've got loaded, points of interest, and where all your friends are all day long without cell service. Now, before you get started going on your ride, when, when you're back at the shop or in the parking lot or something and you do have cell service, the first thing you do when you get your new snowmobile is you want to pair your phone to the sled. And what that does is it, it connects the two through your Polaris account, which you can get on, on the app. Um, it's a free account to get. It's super easy to do. Just put your information in, and it links the two. What that does is then anytime your, your phone and your display connect, so when you get back from your ride, you turn your phone back on, or if you're out on the hill and you do have service, uh, anytime they connect, it'll update each other. So if uh, my buddy sends me a, a waypoint and uh, it's a GPS pin on the, the Polaris app, or this awesome spot they rode last weekend, and like, man, you guys got to try and get here today. All I do is I, I save that location on my, on my Polaris app on my phone, and then 
when I fire up my sled, if they're paired, that waypoint will automatically appear on my display. Uh, all I have to do is follow it if I want to go check it out. Vice versa, when you're done with your ride, if you want to share your ride with somebody else, all you do is go into the display, hit export, it'll go right to your phone, uh, and then it's on the Polaris app, and you can share it with whoever you'd like. If you don't want to share it with anybody, because it's your secret spot, you don't have to share it at all either. So the, the mapping of GPS software on the 7S display and uh, on the Ride Command app on your phone come preloaded with all kinds of points of interest. Those points of interest update, we do updates periodically just like any app on your phone, uh, and they're free to get from our website, and it just downloads onto your, onto your display, and you got the latest points of interest. They're always on there. If you want to uh, go to one, you just click it, um, and uh, you can see where it is relative to your location and follow the trail there. Likewise, if you get waypoints or a secret spot or you get into a really good spot and you're like, man, I want to save this location because uh, I really like this spot, it's super easy to do. You can save it on the display if you don't have your phone on or with you or you don't have service. You just save it on the display, and then when you get back to the truck, phone and GPS or the display will pair, and it'll download to your phone. One more really cool thing to call out as, as far as GPS and planning your ride is on the Polaris app on your phone, there's a really cool feature called Snap to Trail. So what it does is it's, it's more focused on trail riders, but it works for mountain riders too. Uh, you pick a point that you want to start at, and you pick a point that you want to finish at. It could be a point of interest that's, that's loaded into the software, like a restaurant, a waypoint that your buddy sent you, whatever it may be. You tell the two points you want to go to, and it will automatically route a trail, snap the line to the trail, uh, to get you there. All you do is then put that on your display. If you're, Again, if your accounts are linked, it does it uh, automatically. And then you can follow that predetermined route on your display. It's as close to turn-by-turn -turn navigation as you can get out on the trail, uh, and it does it right on the display. The next super cool thing that we'll go through is group ride, and this is my favorite part, like I said, and it's just invaluable when you're out on the snow. Group ride is a non-cellular, non-satellite, it's a near-field uh, style communication between the displays that shares their location. Uh, it was developed by Polaris, it's very proprietary to us, and every 7S display on our snowmobiles comes with a group ride ready to go. It's super easy to use. All you do is you come into your display, uh, you go to the map section and then go to group ride. You can put in your name, it saves your name for, for the next time. And if your buddy's already started a group, you just join or you hit the new group button, you start a group and you hit share. Then your buddy is sitting in the parking lot, can go onto their display, make sure their name is in, hit join your group, and you guys are linked together. The core functionality is about where you are, buddy tracking, right? Seeing where your buddies are out on the hill or out on the trail. The other thing that the display does is it'll share messages back and forth. So you can do predetermined messages. You can actually put a couple in uh, that are predetermined and easy click, or you can type something out as well. Group ride is, like I said, invaluable. Uh, when you're out on the trail, Knowing that your, your riding partners are behind you, you don't have to wait at every single turn to make sure everybody comes up and everybody's there. You can get to the turn, glance down at your display, you're like, yep, he's right behind me, just riding a little further back because it's a snow dust kind of day. You take a right turn, your buddy pulls up to that same intersection, sees you went to the right, to the right he goes and away you go riding. You can cover so much more ground and so much more confidently. You're not always looking back, seeing where your partners are, worried about them. Out in the backcountry, it's just as valuable for a different reason, right? You're not necessarily following the trails out in the backcountry. You're riding all over, riding in different spots. Uh, and there's a ton of different elevation changes, right? Hills, valleys, trees, things like that. Seeing where your buddies are is invaluable. When they get stuck, you know where they are. Uh, that does happen. Uh, you know where they are, you can go lend a hand. Um, and, and you can just make sure that your group's staying together. If you're riding into a new zone or you're kind of traversing a ridge or something and somebody uh, gets stuck or has an issue or wants to take a break, whatever it is, you can see that they stopped in your display. It's really e easy, really nice, and it's really safe to know where your riding partners are. The last piece with group ride is for those that don't have a 7S display, you can do group ride on your phone. It requires a cell service on your phone, uh, but anybody who has a Polaris app and anybody can get the Polaris app, uh, they just have to join the group on their phone. If you're next to the snowmobiles that uh, have the group ride on them, you just hit join on your phone uh, and you can participate in the group ride. Again, you need cell service in order to do that where the displays don't need any cell service. Uh, but for your buddies that happen to ride yellow or green sleds, it's a super awesome way to keep them in your group uh, when you do have service.
next cool feature on on the display and how we use it uh, is satellite views and then landowner views that can overlay on the map. So they do both on the app, on the Polaris app, and then if you are tethered to your display and you have cell service, uh, you can use the satellite and landowner overviews on your display. Now the satellite view is awesome, right? You can see the terrain way better. If you want to plan your next spot to ride, uh, you can see more detail, make a better plan and know where you are. Likewise, if you're in a sticky spot, if you're uh, you know, stuck out on your mountain sled or something, you want to make the best path out, the satellite view is super helpful to have that. With landowners, there's really awesome benefits for both the more trail riding and then off trail and, and mountain riding. On the trail riding, right, we're riding trails through a lot of private land, landowners that have graciously allowed the local trail club access on their land. Being able to see exactly where public and private land is so you know where you can ride in addition to the trails that are already on the display is super valuable. When we come out here into the mountains, it's, it's a little bit different. There's not a lot of private land, but we have different types of public land. And you can see that on the display as well. Right now we're in the National Forest, which is a, a, a green place to snowmobile, an awesome place to snowmobile uh, where it's allowed. Right over there is a wilderness area. There's no snowmobiling allowed in the wilderness areas and we want to respect that. So we can see right on the display, there's the wilderness boundary and we know where we can go and ride today. Now, the last piece we want to talk about today is when you're done with the ride. So. When you're out snowmobiling, you're enjoying it, you're having a good time, you're like, man, that was an awesome ride, snow is epic. You get back and your buddy's like, man, where'd you guys go today? I'm like, well, I don't know if I quite remember. I was enjoying the snow, didn't remember exactly. And how many times have you tried to describe the trail or the spot to it's the, the trail that turns left by the lake, by that tree over there. When you're tracking your ride all day on the 7S, you come back, sync it to your phone through the app again. If you're tethered, it does it automatically. You have all the data from your ride right on your phone. Where you went, how long you were out, your average speed, stops you made. You can actually see a aerial topographic flyover of your route if you wanna show somebody else. So it makes planning your trip the next time that much easier. If you wanna share it to the Ride Command community, you wanna show other people on the Polaris app, hey, check out this awesome spot, go ride. You certainly can. If you just want to share it with your buddies, you can just send it to them through the app or a text or something else. And if you don't want to tell anybody where your secret spots are, you can just keep it on your phone. You keep it on uh, just your app. Then the next time you want to go out and ride that spot, you can set waypoints to your favorite spots or just remember uh, where you went. Any way you use it, it's so valuable to have all of that information from your ride right onto your phone and accessible at the touch of a button. So new for 2024 is this map gauges right here. So you tap that. And you'll see these two uh, uh, spots down here in the corner that now come available. Say over here on the left, I want to see engine temp. And on the right, I want to see RPM. I added those two. I just hit done. And now when I'm riding with the map on, I've got that key information right down here where it's out of the way, but I can see what it is. Again, if you don't want any of that information on there, you just go back to map gauges. You hit the X, hit done, and you get the full screen map like you had before. Super cool feature to get more information at your fingertips wherever you want to see it, however you want to view it on your 7S display. That was some of the key features on the 7S display and Ride Command software on, on the display and the app that we talked about today. Uh, if you need any how-tos, exactly how to do things like pair your phone or, or do the group ride in more detail, check out our YouTube. We have a bunch of how-to videos for all those different items that, that are super helpful if you need more information. That's all we got for today's episode of Sled Tech. We're going to get back and go riding before the sun goes down. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.